Finale gives us the option to display each layer in a different color. By default, layer 1 is black and layer 2 is red. I find colors very helpful while working with different layers, because there will be no confusion about which layer a node belongs to. Furthermore, you can tell Finale to show elements attached to a specific layer in that layer's color. We have the option to turn colors for on-screen viewing on or off in the Display Colors Preferences dialog box, which you can open from the View menu. When working with layers, I make sure I check Use Score Colors and Layer Colors apply to all layers. The music you see here was put into two separate layers. The higher notes are placed into layer 1 with their stems going up and the lower notes into layer 2 with their stems going down. That's how Finale treats layers by default. Just so you know, those settings may be changed in the Document Options dialog box. The first thing you need to know when working with layers is how to switch from one layer to another. There are different ways to do this. The most obvious but least efficient method is by selecting a different layer from the pop-up menu in the left lower corner of your document window. A much faster way is to use the keyboard command Option plus Command plus 1, 2, 3 or 4, which lets you quickly select the layer of your choice. When working in the Speedy Entry tool, you can rotate through the layers incrementally by holding Command and pressing the up and down arrow keys. The part shown here consists of two layers. The black notes, with the stems going up, belong to layer 1. When we click the first bar with the speedy entry tool, layer 1 is selected as the default layer. Let's enter the music. Let's now enter all the red notes, which belong to layer 2. With the speedy entry tool selected, click the first bar, Hold down the Shift key while pressing the down arrow key to switch to layer 2. Let's now enter all the notes that belong to layer 2. Note that as soon as you put the first note into layer 2, the note stems in layer 1 flip up. Let's now enter the accents. If you want to add an accent to a note, you gotta make sure you work in the same layer the note is in. Since we're already in layer 2, let's switch to the Articulations tool and add the accent to the E which is in layer 2. Hold the A key down and click the note. In order to add an accent to the C on B2, we need to switch to layer 1. Select the articulation tool, hold A and click the note. To enter slurs with the Smart Shape tool in Finale 2014, we don't have to switch to a specific layer. Just double click the first note and drag to the note you want to end the slur at and it will automatically switch to that layer. Dynamics in Finale 2014 attach themselves to the measure rather than to an individual layer. If you want to learn how to input Smart Shapes and Dynamics, please refer to a different video tutorial. To demonstrate how we can copy individual layers onto individual parts, I'd like to add a violin and a cello part to the score. Pressing Command K opens the score manager where I can quickly add those staves. In order to copy one layer at a time, I need to switch to Show Active Layer Only in the Document menu. Now Finale shows me only the active layer, in this case layer 1. I select the meshes I'd like to copy, hold Shift Option, click the bar where I want to copy it to, and Finale will open the filter dialog. I click All, because I want to copy everything, and press OK. Now let's switch to layer 2, select the music we want to copy, and Option click the target measure. Remember, that we already set the filter to copy all when we copied layer 1, which means that the filter's preferences are already set correctly. Now that we copied both layers to individual staves, we need to uncheck Show Active Layer Only in the Document menu to see all the layers. 
All we have to do now is cleaning up the clashes by using the staff tool to create more space between staves and running the align move dynamics plugin to move the dynamics elements closer to the staves. I will explain how to clean up parts in Finale in a future tutorial. Be sure you check out my article on layers at musictrainingonline.com forward slash layers where you will find more information on this topic. Music